Welcome to the Wraith Tavern. History on tap. Enjoy the video. History often remembers the brilliant light overlooking the shadows that dance around it. Francesco Melzi, a name whispered in the hallowed halls of art history, lived and worked in the shadow of a giant, Leonardo da Vinci. While his own artistic achievements may be eclipsed by his master's fame, Melzi's contribution to the world of art is undeniable. He was Leonardo's most devoted student, his trusted confidant, and ultimately the custodian of his legacy. This essay delves into the life and times of Francesco Melzi, exploring his relationship with the legendary Leonardo and his tireless efforts to preserve his master's work. It examines Melzi's own artistic pursuits, revealing a talent nurtured in the crucible of genius. Ultimately, it seeks to illuminate the profound impact of this often overlooked figure on the course of art history. Born into a noble family in Lombardy, Italy, Francesco Melzi was introduced to the world of art at a young age. His early exposure to the artistic circles of Milan set the stage for his future endeavors. It was in Milan that Melzi first encountered Leonardo da Vinci, a meeting that would change the course of his life forever. Leonardo saw in Melzi not just a student, but a kindred spirit, someone who could understand and carry forward his vision. Melzi quickly became an indispensable part of Leonardo's life, assisting him in various projects, from painting to engineering. He was more than just an apprentice. He was a collaborator, a friend, and a guardian of Leonardo's vast collection of works. After Leonardo's death in 1519, it was Melzi who took on the monumental task of organizing and preserving his master's manuscripts and artworks. This was no small feat, as Leonardo's works were scattered and in various stages of completion. Melzi's dedication ensured that Leonardo's genius was not lost to time. He meticulously cataloged and safeguarded the works, making it possible for future generations to study and appreciate Leonardo's contributions to art and science. Despite his significant role, Melzi's own artistic talents were often overshadowed. His works, though fewer in number, reflect a deep understanding of form, composition, and emotion, qualities that were undoubtedly honed under Leonardo's mentorship. This essay not only highlights Melzi's efforts in preserving Leonardo's legacy, but also aims to bring to light his own artistic achievements. By examining his paintings and drawings, we gain insight into the mind of an artist who was both a student and a master in his own right. In the end, Francesco Melzi's story is one of devotion, talent, and an unwavering commitment to the arts. His legacy, though often overshadowed, is a testament to the enduring power of mentorship and the profound impact one individual can have on the course of history. As we walk through the halls of history, let us remember not just the brilliant lights, but also the shadows that dance around them, for they too have stories to tell. Francesco Melzi was born into a world of privilege in 1491. His birthright granted him access to the finest things life had to offer, from luxurious living conditions to an education that was second to none. His birthplace, Milan, was a city at the heart of the Italian Renaissance, teeming with artists, intellectuals, and patrons of the arts. The city was a vibrant hub of creativity and innovation, where the old world met the new in a dazzling display of human achievement. The Melzi family, members of the Milanese nobility, ensured young Francesco received a well-rounded education befitting his station. He was tutored in the classics, learning Latin and Greek, and was also exposed to the burgeoning fields of science and philosophy. Details of Francesco's early life are scant, shrouded by the passage of time, yet the fragments that remain paint a picture of a young man who was both curious and diligent, eager to absorb the knowledge that surrounded him. However, it is known that he displayed an early inclination towards the arts. His sketches and early works, though few, reveal a budding talent that would soon blossom under the right guidance. This proclivity, nurtured within the walls of his family's Grand Palazzo, would set the stage for his fateful encounter with Leonardo da Vinci. The palazzo itself was a marvel of Renaissance architecture, filled with art and beauty, providing the perfect environment for a young artist to thrive. It was here that Francesco's path would cross with one of the greatest minds of his time, forever altering the course of his life and the history of art. The year was 1505, a time of great change and discovery in the Renaissance period. Leonardo da Vinci, already renowned for his groundbreaking work in art, science and engineering, returned to Milan after a period of travel and exploration. It was during this time that a young Francesco Melzi, barely a teenager, crossed paths with the master. Melzi 
Hailing from a noble family was eager to learn and explore the world of art and science. Leonardo, ever the keen observer of talent, recognized a spark in the young Melzi. He saw potential in the boy's eyes, a reflection of his own youthful curiosity and drive. He saw not just a student, but a kindred spirit, someone who shared his insatiable curiosity and passion for knowledge. Leonardo knew that with the right guidance, Melzi could achieve great things, and so began a relationship that would shape the destinies of both men. Leonardo took Melzi under his wing, teaching him not only the techniques of painting and sculpture, but also the principles of anatomy, engineering and philosophy. Their bond grew stronger with each passing day, and Melzi became not just a student, but a trusted confidant and collaborator. This fortunate encounter would leave an indelible mark on the history of art and science, as the legacy of their partnership continued to inspire generations to come. Francesco Melzi entered Leonardo's workshop not as a mere apprentice, but as a favoured pupil. Leonardo, who had a reputation for being aloof and private, opened his world to the young Melzi. He became a mentor, a father figure and a friend. Melzi, in turn, proved to be an exemplary student. He was a quick learner, absorbing Leonardo's teachings with an eagerness that impressed the master. He excelled not just in painting and drawing, but also in the scientific and engineering pursuits that fascinated Leonardo. Beyond the canvas, their bond extended beyond the confines of the workshop. Melzi accompanied Leonardo on his travels, acting as his assistant, secretary and constant companion. He diligently recorded Leonardo's observations, transcribed his notes and managed his affairs. Leonardo, in his later years, came to rely heavily on Melzi. He entrusted him with his most precious possessions, his notebooks, drawings and scientific writings. This trust speaks volumes about the depth of their relationship, a bond forged in mutual respect and affection. The weight of inheritance. In 1519, Leonardo da Vinci, the genius who bridged art and science, breathed his last. He bequeathed his entire estate, including his vast collection of artwork and writings, to Francesco Melzi. It was a daunting inheritance, a treasure trove of knowledge that could easily have been lost or scattered. But Melzi, ever loyal, considered it his sacred duty to preserve his master's legacy. He dedicated his life to this task, painstakingly organizing and cataloguing Leonardo's work. The Codex Urbinus, a testament to genius. Among Leonardo's many writings, one stands out for its significance, the Codex Urbinus, later known as the Treatise on Painting. This compilation of Leonardo's thoughts on art, science, and the nature of creativity is a cornerstone of art historical literature. It was Francesco Melzi who painstakingly compiled this monumental work. He transcribed Leonardo's notoriously difficult handwriting, deciphering his mirror writing and organizing his scattered notes into a coherent manuscript. A legacy preserved. Melzi's efforts ensured that Leonardo's genius would continue to inspire and influence generations to come. He disseminated copies of the Codex Urbinas to scholars and artists, spreading Leonardo's teachings far and wide. His dedication went beyond mere preservation. Melzi actively promoted Leonardo's work, ensuring that his master's name continued to resonate in the world of art. Melzi the Artist While his role as the custodian of Leonardo's legacy is paramount, Francesco Melzi was an artist in his own right. His style, inevitably influenced by his master, displayed a keen eye for detail, and a mastery of light and shadow. His surviving works, though few in number, reveal a talent nurtured in the crucible of genius. His drawings, particularly his studies of human anatomy, are testament to his skill and the influence of Leonardo's teachings. The Enduring Influence Francesco Melzi's impact on art history extends beyond his own artistic output. Through his tireless efforts, he ensured that Leonardo da Vinci's legacy lived on, shaping the course of Western art. His dedication to preserving and promoting his master's work helped to cement Leonardo's status as a towering figure of the Renaissance, an enduring symbol of human creativity and ingenuity. A bond that shaped history. The story of Francesco Melzi is inseparable from that of Leonardo da Vinci. Their relationship, a unique blend of master and student, father and son, confidant and friend, transcended the typical boundaries of their time. It was a bond that shaped the course of art history, ensuring that the legacy of one of the greatest minds humanity has ever known would continue to inspire and enlighten for centuries to come. And that, perhaps, is Francesco Melzi's greatest legacy of all.
Please like, share, and subscribe to the channel.